All right, so I've come out this morning and normally you would take the key and put it in and wait for that weight to start light. Come on, should be right there, but it's not. So all that happens is a whole lot of nothing. So what I'm suspecting is there's an issue with the glow plug controller and what I've done is I've already jumped the relay on the controller. I'll show you what that looks like. Here's just a spare one I had sitting around. Uh, this takes power in one side and the relay controls, it's, it's a relay. So when you get input signal here, it'll connect these two and then this sends power off to the glow plugs to heat them up and ignite your diesel. So what I've done under the hood is I've actually touched these two together for five or six seconds to manually send power through, then cranked the ignition and the vehicle did start. So I know the glow plugs work. I know the fusible links aren't burned out or nothing like that. But I'm thinking um, either this is bad or there's a wiring issue. So I have to test the wires on this to make sure I'm getting power, uh, see if I'm getting a signal in and that'll uh, give me some answers. So one of these is gonna be power, the yellow one's gonna be a signal, and the other one's gonna be ground. So let's uh, set that up and figure out if we're actually getting a signal. All right, so this is gonna be hard to see because um, this is kind of way back here in the back corner. But let me, uh, let me actually grab that other glow plug controller so I can show you what I'm touching here. Shouldn't be like that. I mean, obviously we're getting power there. Shouldn't be getting nothing but ground there because we're actually completing a circuit through the coils of the glow plug. Um, all right, so as of right now, I don't know how well you can see this, but we have a black, yellow, and red. Black should be ground, obviously. Yellow is nothing and red. Um, we're, I don't think the ignition's on, so let's turn the ignition on and see if we're getting power there. All right, ignition is on. Okay, we are getting power there, but we're getting little to nothing here. So let me, uh, probe this in there. Hopefully we're making a connection. We'll see if uh, that gives us anything. So yeah, we should be getting, we should be getting a signal here. So our problem is not the glow plug controller. Our problem is we're not getting a signal to the glow plug controller. So uh, we can probably just plug that back in because that's not gonna be our problem. So now we're gonna have to go uh, take a peek at the wiring diagram and see where that actually goes so we can kind of figure out where to look next. So after testing the signal power and ground at the glow plug controller and confirming I don't have a signal at the controller, what I need to do is come down to the engine computer, which is actually this little doohickey right in here. But when I popped this open, I discovered something interesting. This is definitely not factory to the truck. Motorola. So I'm not sure what that is. I'll have to Google the number on there and uh, Maybe it was a remote start unit or a GPS locator or something like that, but definitely not factory to the truck. And that might explain what these random fuses are for. So I'm gonna have to basically probe this connection back here. Um, a yellow wire on pin number six is for the glow plug signal. So I'm gonna have to turn the ignition, probe that wire and see if we're getting a signal out here. All right, just because I have it, I decided I'm just gonna try throwing this one in 
seeing if it makes any difference. Maybe I'm just not testing something right, whatever. So I pulled this one out and I noticed the tab on this one is busted off. Um, so it's entirely possible. Uh, it's sitting right behind the diesel. It could have got diesel in it and shorted it out or it could be uh, Oh That's probably not supposed to be in there um, But there are two screws on the bottom um, if this one does work even if it doesn't um, Might be worth uh, opening up this one and just seeing what happens so I'm gonna put this one in there and just hopefully it'll it'll fix the issue and if it does great and we can see uh what's going on inside these things if i can get it open all right so really i should have the battery disconnected because we do have a live power wire right here but you know that's what something that smart people do and i'm not one of those smart people Ugh. Even though I did just have the battery disconnected for like 10 minutes just to see if I could reset the ECU. You know, if I planned this better, I would have done it while the battery was disconnected. So we got two mounting bolts on the bracket for this thing. I couldn't really find a good wiring diagram for the actual pinout on the ECM or ECU. So I uh, couldn't really probe that. I'm not just going to poke around aimlessly. Um, so I've just put on these two mounting bolts. I'm going to connect these two. In theory, uh, it shouldn't matter which one of these goes where if it's just a relay and it's connecting a circuit. But again i haven't opened this thing up i don't know if there's any special circuitry voltage sensing stuff anything like that in here so i'm going to put them on the exact same way it came off put that one on there this is actually the side for the glow plugs And then uh, it is easy to snap off these posts if you're a little too tight. So uh, that is something to be careful for. So basically just snug and then a little oomph should be fine. All right, so this one is the power wire. Wipe that off a little bit. Put that on there. And then they have these little uh, these little ring lock washers on them. Yep, see, that's the power wire. And that is exactly why you disconnect the battery before you do this stuff. So I'm actually going to use a couple of extensions so I don't accidentally do that again so I can get much higher Let's see. I'm gonna hold this connector try to keep it from twisting and pulling on that wire uh, snug it up and that should be good and then of course plug the unit in tools out of the way without spilling them um, we can go into the dash and uh, see if that light even comes on or what the deal is so, turn the key oh the wait to start light comes on now Alright, so it was the glow plug controller all along. Um, it must have some sort of circuitry inside there. I 
because I wasn't getting much of a signal, but maybe it only needs just a momentary signal uh, to have a little chip in there to turn on at a certain time. That kind of makes sense because it does have a, a, a power wire, a signal wire, and a ground wire. If the computer was just giving it the timing and everything, then it should just have a power and ground wire for that relay. So, all right, I think I fixed it. Um, we'll uh, put some miles on it, make some money with it, and we'll see what breaks tomorrow.